How's it going? Welcome back to Outside the Fly Box. With this video, I am going to tie this actual fly through the capabilities of modern technology. Um, this is my hell of a helker mite. A um, little bit of a process, super simple pattern. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so step one to this fly is prepping your rabbit skin or zonker strip or whatever you want to call it. It's a rabbit. Um, Pick how long you actually would want your hooker mite to be. This one from the tip of the leather all the way to the end of the fur will be about three and a half inches. Um, which seems to work out for me. Um, so what we got to do is take your would be solar resin. This is the flex. Um, and you want to run a bead of it down the back of the rabbit hair. Um, try to get a little thinner as you get to the tail, a little heavier up top. And then from there, you just need to take it and work it in. Pull it through, so try to get down as deep as you can get it to go into the fur. Keep going. <clears throat> and if you get it where it feels like it's okay, it, you know, pretty well pushed into the fur, then you want to try to separate the fur. Pull it out, out to the sides. And just keep on going. Some of these will turn out a little better for me than others, but it's kind of a crapshoot. Just keep working it. Fun stuff. Work it all the way down through the tail. Now I want to try to keep the back section of it kind of try to pull it straight so I can cut it in the so it makes looks like sort of like uh, pinchers on the back. And after you feel like you have it pulled out, what I'll do is lay it down. You can't see me really doing this, obviously, off camera, but don't wipe your fingers on your pants because your girlfriend or wife or mom might get mad at you. But you just want to hit the fur with your UV light. I said this is one of the few that I do that's actually a little bit of a process, but it's usually worth it when it's done. All right, that should be good. Then it'll come out looking like this, not sticky anymore. And then take your scissors and just kind of just out the sides of it. Maybe go out a quarter to three eighths of an inch and cut those end ends off of the fur. It doesn't have to be crazy perfect. And then there's your Helgramite body. Okay, on the phase two. So in the vise, I have a number two jig hook with a pretty heavy tungsten bead. I don't know exactly how heavy because I tossed the package and I don't remember. 
Um, and what I pretty much use for all my flies would be a 3.0 uni thread because I don't tie very many small flies, so this is what works out for me. So, uh, without ado, let's get the thread started. Um, just wrap it all the way back to the hook bend, and then back up. More or less what you're doing is tying a tailless woolly bugger. Um, and ever since I learned how to do a woolly bugger, which, which I think is the correct way, is you tie your hackle into the front of the hook, you dub back, wrap your hackle back, and then your thread back forward, which holds the hackle down nice and tight. And pretty much any fly that I will tie um, that has that, you know, that hackle fiber wrapped um, back like that over the whole shank of the hook, I pretty much will tie every fly in that manner. And what I'm using for dubbing is it's a natural black rabbit hair with some uh, CLF tan with a little bit of flash in it. Um, and then just start your dubbing noodle. Mm. I will actually, uh, if I can't get the stick, I will uh, lick my fingers. Put a little DNA in there, so to speak. That way it's my fly. Literally. And these, the body of this thing I try to build up pretty good. So I might have to get her going. I hope I mixed enough dubbing. And you can even do these with, uh, you know, dark grays and browns because, you know, Hel Helgramites have a tendency to have that uh, multicolor. Um, they're not always all black. They have a, you know, some of them have a brown look to them, some have a gray. We're getting there. Almost got it. This fly specifically I use a lot of times for, you know, smallmouth bass fishing. And there she is. Dubbed all the way back. Now uh, wrap the hackle. You don't have to do super tight wraps. I usually try to leave them pretty open. And, um, you know, there she is couple three wraps and then just work your way forward through the fibers <clears throat> which I said it makes the fly itself a little bit more bulletproof so to speak and then um, clip off your feather whip it whip it real good maybe two Perfect. Now, on the phase three, which would be putting the body on the uh, hook. Actually, I'm jumping the gun. I typically will thin these on the top and bottom. The barbels, fibers, whatever you want to call them. Not too bad. All right. Now on to phase three. All right, phase three. Turn your hook over. Um, I forgot to mention earlier, you actually have to cut a small slice in the bottom of your skin for the hook to go through. You don't want to just poke a hole through because the, the hook will have a tendency to... A tendency to um, to, to hold the angle of the bend um, and actually thinking about it now I don't know why I cut my thread off but I did so let's wrap it back on here we 
never make a mistake. It happened to me. All right. So now we're back on. And then you want to pull it forward so the slot is um, where the body's pulled down around the slot of the hook so it doesn't flip when you're casting. And then just from there you want to wrap your head on. And then get in there and cut that mess off as tight as you can get it. It's normally not this complicated, I guess just because, uh, you know, I'm trying to do a video. It can never be easy. Alright, that's pulled out, that looks good. And then just wrap that head down. I used to actually uh, put pinchers on the front of this thing, but I learned that the fish don't care. Um, the material that I used, I don't have anymore. So now, let's whip it. That's whipped. And then I'm going to take some regular uh, UV resin that cures kind of hard to make the head of the Helgramite. Kind of make it all roll together. A little bit more. Not bad. And there you have it. What's nice about this thing, even after all that, the body is still very flexible. Dances in the water. The thing is awesome. So there you have it. The hell of a Helgramite. Um, the only thing left to do with this is I will throw it up in my windowsill. You know, let the sun cook it for a couple hours. Make sure that all the UV resin is very cured. Um, my son says I have to tell you guys to please like and subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching. Always remember to think outside the fly box. Mm -hmm.